What's up, what's up, everybody? It's time to talk about our monkeys. No, they came out wrong. They came out wrong. Um, what's up, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to play with your Wang. No, that was, that was not, that was not better. Uh, time to play with some big sticks? Better! It's time to talk about how to ruin Monkey Kings, where we can use Monkey Kings. Monkey, 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 monkey. Monkey, monkey, goodness. Damn you, water monkey. We'll get to that water monkey. We'll get to that water monkey. Uh, so the Monkey King is some of the best base speed monsters in the game. Look at this, 116, 115, 117, 114, 118. Very high base speed, very high base speed. So let's talk about where we can use them, how to ruin them, what we want to do with these Monkey Monkey Kings. Alright, first skill, we're going to talk about Meihao Wang first. I probably said that wrong, whatever. Uh, first skill text, the Monkey Wand and stuns the enemy for, a, for one turn with a 35% chance. 35% chance goes up to 50% uh, after it is skilled up. Then we have the Fire Monkey Wand. Attacks and decreases the defense for two turns with a 75% chance and recovers your HP by 15%. I feel like this, and no one's calling to, to buff the, uh, like, these. I feel like this is really not that crazy amazing for, uh, for some of these monkeys. Some of these monkeys' second skills, I feel like I, I've seen, I've seen better. I've seen better. Uh, but it's, I mean, if you look at, like, Lucian's second skill, it's an AoE that does multiple debuffs. This one is just a single, it's a defense break for two turns and recovery of HP. Um, and then, so it seems like, it seems like could be, like, a little bit more. It's just me. If you guys like them, then you guys like them. Now one's gonna call for a monkey buff. Oh, monkey buff. Hashtag monkey buff. And then gold headband passive gains immunity against inability effects and your attack power increases by 20% whenever you're attacked, accumulated up to 10 times. Okay, so with this gold headband passive, I mean this is why, and then we got the leader skill, uh, increases defense of eye monsters by 33%. So this gold headband passive, uh, this, this defense is actually, it's not really for, it could be used in arena, but it's really not for, um arena as much is more I see this mostly used in raids it's a nice raider uh, raid leader skill so there's a certain way of building the wang for raids we'll get into that this gold headband passive uh, immunity against inability effects your attack power increases by 20% whenever you're attacked accumulated up to 10 times this tells me that we want him around we don't want him to be a squishy monster we want him to be around long enough to get attacked multiple times and not die so the more he gets attacked the better right so the more tanky he is, the more he gets, the, the more he accumulates his uh, his non-sensory. And I see this guy in, uh, in in World Arena now too. I see him in World Arena. But that that makes me think, okay, we gotta build him tankier because if we build him squishy, he can get one-shotted, two-shotted, three-shotted. He doesn't get the benefit of his gold headband passive, and then. It doesn't matter too much about getting crazy attack power, uh, attack crit damage attack, because we will eventually get their attack power increases 20% whenever you're attacked 10 times, accumulates 10 times, it's gonna give them huge attack power. So we don't need to worry about making them amazing attack power right from the beginning, we don't need to one-shot things, he will get there and we can build him sort of a tanky bruiser style. Right? All right. Uh, let me see. We got the defense break. We got the stun, and we got. I think he's a great world arena monster because he can't be. He can't be CC. So he's one of those ones you like counter pick with the with the monkey king. With the monkey king. Uh, so that's one way of using him. Let's talk about where we can use him. Let's talk about where we can use him. I'm gonna try to make this. I, f I feel like this is gonna be a long video. Uh, where to use? Okay, here we go. We got a good, we got a good size, yeah, we got a good size brush, right, yeah. Uh, let's see, farming. He could be good for, he could be good for farming. I wish he had, he does, he does recover his own HP, uh, with his, uh, his skill. And he also, um, you can have him tanky, he'll increase his attack power, whatever. Uh, revenge is really good on these monkeys, too. All these monkeys are good in revenge, because their first skill is a stun. So it's really nice to have, uh, revenge on these monkeys. And generally, they're, they're, for the most part, can be kind of tanky. Uh, let's see, Giants, um, Giants, didn't he solo, like, B8, I believe? Giants B8, so he can solo B8, I wouldn't put him in a Giants B10 team, uh, maybe put him somewhere between good and meh, because he can solo B8 if he's got good runes, and then you could just, I know people that were, were doing that were soloing B8, uh, of Giants, with the monkey, and then, 
and then using the farming for runes while also skilling up their like free to play players farming for runes and also skilling up their uh, not skilling up but leveling up their monsters at the same time dragons i mean well, he's not really a dragons monster right he's more for pvp he's anti he's anti crowd control necropolis he doesn't have multi hits so we're going to go bad for necropolis uh, elemental dungeons um, really, he's not gonna stun the boss, right? So he can be maybe meh. I mean, he's he's whatever. I really don't think about him as a as a really a dungeon monster. Uh, secret dungeons, no. Uh, three team raids for Rift of Worlds, yes, because he's going to get he can be ruined with a little bit of tankiness. He can be ruined with defense on a slot, like two four six. They can ruin him uh, attack, crit damage, uh, defense or HP crit damage defense. Generally, whenever you want to, whenever you're gonna rune, uh, for example, the Wang, the Wang, uh, I see a lot of times he's ruined attack, crit damage, HP. That's a standard. That's a standard uh, fire monkey build. Fire monkey. Um, so attack, attack, crit damage, HP, or attack, crit damage, defense. Some kind of defense in the substats. If you're gonna put him front line for raids, he needs defense. Also, some people I see like to do vampire. Usually for vampire monsters, I like to have pretty high defense. Uh, already because the thing is when you if you have okay if you put some kind of tankiness on vampire monsters that's good right so if you put the HP then like for example if you do 2,000 2,000 damage then it's gonna it's gonna be more a bigger percentage of if, if you do if you do I know it's very confusing but it's gonna be better if you have him on defense rather than on HP. Because then you have like this big jar and you're like, oh, 2,000 is really not that much. But if you have him like a tanky in the defense way, then 2,000 is gonna be more impactful as far as uh, filling up your HP. So I like to do, I like tanky, uh, tanky monsters, tanky defense monsters on Vampire, I think is uh, pretty fun. Like Grago, we've seen Grago on uh, Vampire. But I see some hybrids of the Fire Monkey Vampire build and then they have defense on one of the slots. They have pretty decent defense, and they use it for uh, raids as well. Uh, but aside from that, he's got he's got his defense break. That's really all he's bringing to the table. And the fact that if he's on the front line of raids, he's gonna build his stacks up really really fast. Uh, so that's nice too. He's already gonna be his passive's already got, unless he gets oblivion, right? His passive's gonna be uh, filling up really fast. Uh, so for three team raids, he can be good. I see people and. Uh, you really you want to run a defense leader skill. I think the best leader skills for three team Rift of World raids are defense, resistance, and crit rate. Those ones seem to work the best, better than anything else. Unless you're trying to nuke it, then you stick attack in there and you're like YOLO baby, whoa. Uh, but that's not for most people. Most people, the best ones seem to be resistance, defense, and uh, crit rate. Uh, let's see. Uh, just from experience of doing it so many, so many times. Uh, Elemental Rift Beasts. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I would stick him in. I mean, he's got the defense break, and he's a single target monster. I think it, for Elemental Rift Beasts, you have to build him totally differently, though. You have to build him, like, then it's attack, crit damage, attack. Then it's an attack, crit damage, attack build. But, I don't know if I would really... You could, he could be meh. Let's put him in the meh category. Trial Ascension, no. He's a single target monster. He's really not for Trial Ascension. Uh, arena, yes, Arena, he's good for Arena. Guild Wars, he's great for. I think he's great for Guild Wars. I think he's great for Guild Wars. Uh, and Live Arena, he's also great for Live Arena. I mean, you could put. You could make him. You can make him closer to great for Arena, but I think he's... I mean, he's not super top tier Arena monster, but I think he's a great Guild Wars monster. That's where I like him the best, is Guild Wars, and I've seen him, uh, people use him in raids as well. So, let's talk about the runes. I'm not gonna go find the rune thing. Okay, the runes. Uh, fatal early... I mean, early game fatal, yeah, would work. Er, we're going to talk about early game, right? Early game. Uh, Swift, this, contrary to, I mean, he does have 116 base speed. He doesn't need to be on Swift, though. That's that's the weird thing about him. He's got such great base speed, he doesn't need to be on Swift. Um, he just has that extra bonus of having decent speed. Uh, Despair, no, he doesn't have any AoEs. Uh, we'll talk about, the other, the other monkeys can be better on Despair, actually. 
Uh, Violent, I see this as the primary build for this. Um, that's the one you want to probably do. Vampire is going to be nice too. Violent and Vampire is the ones that I see the most on him. Uh, energy, Blade. Blade is not bad. Blade is not bad. Focus is not bad. He's got two debuffs, so Focus is not bad. Uh, guard, he's a defense-based monster. If you do him in raids, a guard set. Also, like, another thing is, who do you- if you have really valuable guard runes, who the hell are you gonna put the guard runes on, right? Really valuable guard runes, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, Endure, he doesn't need Endure as much because of his passive, he can't be CC'd anyway. Uh, Shield. Uh, you could put Shield on him if you want. Will, he doesn't need- again, he doesn't need sh uh, Will as much, but... I ne and I never see Will on him, but I think that, I mean, there, you could put Will on him. Because you still don't want him to get one-shotted. I never see Will for him in, uh, in Guild War Defense. I, like, almost... I can't remember the last time I've seen Will on a Fire Monkey in Guild War Defense. So, Revenge is a great one. Revenge is awesome. Blade's good, Focus is good. Guard could be good, too. Uh, Nemesis. He doesn't need, he doesn't need Nemesis. I've never seen- I've never seen a Nemesis one. Destroy could be, uh, potentially good on him too. I think, since he's a tanky bruiser, he's kinda- he's- he kinda goes in that, like, hybrid build category, where you want him to do some damage, but you also want him to survive long enough so you want him to be- t to be tanky. Uh, so, here's- let's- let's- I wanna show you guys. I know, we just messed all this up. Just messed all this up. No, oh, I don't wanna take that totally down. Okay. So, back to Monkey Monkey. Uh, so, what I had, uh, I was going to show you guys, not that, I was going to show you guys. I think that, I know she's on really, really weird runes. Uh, I think that runes like this is where these, a lot of these monkeys shine. Like, you're like, what, dude, what is this? Okay, crit damage, a lot of them, a lot of them have crit damage on slot 4, right? Uh, so the fire monkey, I see a lot of fire monkeys with crit damage on slot 4, like I said, um, attack, crit damage, HP, uh, or some kind of HP, crit damage, defense with attack subs, but like overall value subs. These monkeys are the mayors of value town. I kid you, I stole that from Trump. Not the President Trump, the other Trump, the Hearthstone Trump, that Trump. Uh, but these monkeys are the mayors of value town. Monkeys do very well with value runes, overall value runes. So you see this? Defense, HP, speed, attack, with crit damage. This is a beautiful rune on, this would be beautiful on any monkey. I know I said guard, especially since the, like, guard, like, a weird set, like, okay. But if you're gonna do, um, like, the fire monkey in raids, a guard set wouldn't be bad, give him that extra defense if he's going on the front line. So, this is actually not a bad, this is not a bad monkey rune. If it was revenge, that would be even better. That'd be beautiful. But this is a nice overall rune, it's got a lot of value in the substats. So that's what I was talking about for value runes. And you see crit damage on a lot of monkey slot fours. On on Wang and on I see almost like almost always uh crit damage on slot four for Wang. On slot four. And then what does he have? Increase attack speed. Oh, I think they all increase attack speed, right? When they're awakened. Increase attack speed. Increase yeah, of course. How I mean how else would they get that high attack speed, right? That's gotta be it. It's gotta be attack speed for all of them. Alright, so that is the Wang I see him used. He's great in Guild Wars. Good and uh, good in World Time Arena too. World Time Arena. World Arena slash Real Time Arena slash Nat 5 Arena. He's good for there too. Because of passive, can't be CC'd. Um, excuse me, and he's good for uh, three team raids. Alright, then we have Shi Hao, which a lot of people are saying, damn, you water monkey, buff that water monkey. Uh, we got that first skill, same one, all or nothing, attacks all enemies, decreases their attack gauge by 30%, is just an attack gauge decrease. Uh, I don't dislike this, I like the fact that he's got attack gauge decrease, plus a, uh, and you gotta think about it, like Basalt, his third skill does just an attack gauge decrease too. Okay, and we love Basalt. Um, so we have this, so you could build the, this water monkey as kind of a CC monster, like with Despair Revenge, and have him like tanky. His base HP is only 98.85, uh, so it's not amazing. He's an attack type monster though, uh, but all three of his skills do attacks. Like, these first two do uh, 
they need a little bit of accuracy, right? This this third one doesn't. Summons an Alter Ego that attacks the enemy four times, granting you invincibility for one turn and immunity for two turns. If this attack gets three or more critical hits, the cooldown of this skill will be decreased by one turn. So what does this tell us already? He's an attack monster, attack type. Um, he's got good base speed and he needs high crit rate. So we want to do speed crit damage attack and we want to do something maybe blade. This way he gets uh, he gets a lot of crits. This way he doesn't have... Uh, he has uh, this this goes down to four turns and then if we crit three or more then we will three or four times uh, then we will go down to three turn cooldown which is pretty nice pretty nice uh, the thing about this one it grants invincibility and immunity so there's kind of a downside to putting him on violent runes for example uh, is that you can violent proc out of that invincibility and then what the hell it doesn't matter you know, GG with the invincibility. Um, there's some people that I th I don't know. I still don't feel like I want to bring him into World Arena, but I've seen some people that ruin him more of a tankier build, really fast and tanky, giving himself immunity and using this. But I don't know. I still I'm still a little bit a uh, little bit cautious. I'm like, look at that base HP. I don't I don't know if I feel uh, that confident about uh, bringing him into World Arena. But I know some people are building him uh, differently, more of a tanky build for World Arena. Uh, so let's talk about where he can be used. Damn you, Water Monkey. Damn you, Water. And a lot of people are, quite, are saying he needs a buff, but I don't know. It feels like I don't. Know. He's it's still an AOE. It's still an AOE. It's still a, it's still a second turn. Uh, not a second turn. A second skill AOE. Uh, I think one of the reasons... Okay, so let's talk about this now. W what's a better time to talk about this? Um, it was brought to my... Not really brought to my attention, but people were saying, like, Drew Bagel, okay, look at this in comparison. And there was a good point being made. Uh, that... Hold on, where is it? Where, where are you? Where are you? Uh, okay, so if you look about... If you look at that compared to Gildong, uh, we have the... The monkey does the stun for the first skill, right? The Gildong does the fake attack. He does glancing hit and decrease attack power. So that's two debuffs. Uh, this angry wave. This is... The monkey just does attack age decrease. This does speed break and also will stun them if they already had the uh, speed break. Alright? And then we've got the same multi-hit for uh, four hits on this. And it also decreases the defense. So they're very similar. The attack power leader skill obviously is... Um, the monkeys is better, but this and this doesn't give you immunity invincibility, but he does already defense break built in. So people are like, you look at, and the, the second skill, I mean, Gildong's second skill is just better, right? So when I was like, oh, the monkey is good, they're like, no, Jubego, look at Gildong compared to the monkey. The monkey should be better just based on the fact that there's a four star, that the second skill is already much better than the monkey, and then the first and the third skill, well, one, the, it's not really the, the same here, right? Um, he does he does multiple multiple debuffs for raids too, which I was like, ooh, yeah, that's a good point, good point. Uh, and then this is a, a defense. It's attack attack break, defense break, glancing hit, and speed break. And you can use he's actually Gildong is actually better for better in TOA than the, the Water Monkey. So that's why people were saying like, no, Jubego. That's that's why we're saying Water Monkey needs a buff because if you compare him to Gildong. Gildong's pretty strong. It's really it doesn't seem like he seems like he should be a little bit more valuable for uh, for a nat five. And they, they had good points. They had good points. What am I gonna say? No. Am I gonna say no? Uh, so let's see where to use farming. He's great. He could easily do fame and hell. Uh, so I mean, can we just call him a great farmer? Easily do fame and hell. I mean, we could have called that other the the Wang egg a great farmer too, because he can just farm by himself. No, no worries. Not ever get CC'd. Uh, and also has a heal on himself. But, uh, Giants, we saw him... Uh, we'll say he's a good Giants monster. There's two reasons. Um, I did, I did, him and Ardella did a duo on Giants B10. And it was fine. Uh, so he could basically, between the both, he can't solo it, but between the both of them together. Or not the, not the runes that I had on him, he couldn't solo it. But, um between the two of them together, they, they, they did uh, very good. Um, 
but and and he also he will get he'll do multi attacks right he'll do all those uh, with his third skill he'll put invincibility up and the giant is more likely to counter attack when because he does so many attacks right so the giant's more more likely to counter attack after he does all those attacks and gets his invincibility so that's pretty nice uh, dragons as well I've used them in dragons I've used them in my dragon speed team he's oh uh, he's okay he's not the best he's not the worst. Um, he can do it. He can be a good fifth fifth wheel to that, uh... I mean, he's somewhere between this, right? Like, I've done it, but... Uh, Necropolis, I... He's he's at least got a multi-hit skill for his third skill, but he's more meh for Necropolis. Elemental Dungeons. Uh, Elemental Dungeons. He's at least got that attack gauge decrease. He could be, he could be meh. Uh, Secret Dungeons, he at least has an AoE. Um... Somewhere around, around there. Three team raids for the Rift of Worlds. He's got no debuffs. He's got no debuffs, and he's a squishy monster. He's just there for damage, and it's really not enough. Like I said, that Gildong is better than him for raids. Elemental Rift Beasts. I actually have used him in Elemental Rift Beasts. He's actually uh, got me. Let me see. Let me let me go to it right now. Let me go to it right now. I'll show you guys that I'm not. Pulling one over your baloney holes. Hold on. Uh, so this is my dark team, and he actually got triple S with the water monkey um, in the in the dark one. So there you go. So you're like, oh damn, water monkey. Damn you, water monkey. For the win. Uh, so I have used him. Attack power, uh, attack leader skill is nice. Um, he doesn't have a defense break though, he doesn't have a brand, that's a bummer, but single target damage. Uh, also he could be good for the, the fire one, so we're gonna say for Elemental Rift Beasts, yeah we said good. Uh, Trial of Ascension, I would build him a little bit differently, I would build him with high speed, and I would build him despair for Trial of Ascension, but he could, he could be good for Trial of Ascension, he could be not bad, especially some things where like they target water monsters, he can go right before that, give himself invincibility. Um, He's not bad. He's not bad for Travis. I will, will give him somewhere between meh and good. Like I said, Gildong is, is actually a little bit better than he is. Um, and then Arena. Really meh for Arena. Guild Wars. We'll give him good. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say great. Live Arena. We'll give him meh. I know people use him. I do know people use him. But... Uh, really not... I still, I don't think he's like, wouldn't be my first pick, wouldn't be my second pick. There's a lot of, there's a lot more monsters that I pick before, uh, before I pick him for, for what you, what you call it, for World Arena, for World Time Arena. All right, so now we're gonna talk about runes. Uh, speed crit damage attack, I think, is the way to go with high. You want high crit rate because you want all four of those hits to crit. Um, Fatal is a good even even late game fatal. You want him to be able to. I have on I have mine on Vampire Revenge. Uh, I was using him for farming. I use him in Guild Wars as Vampire Revenge too. He does just fine. Um, but he's very similar. He's very similar to Theomars kind of. He's got Theomars as Endure, and this the monkey's got the invincibility immunity. He's different. Sometimes I do like bringing the monkey in, but uh, so Fatal I think is good. Fatal Swift are both good. I think Swift uh, attack or damage attack or Fatal Speed crit damage attack, because you do want it to have good speed. You want it to go right after a defense breaker. If you want to build, like I think in Guild Wars, there's a lot of fire threats because there's a lot of people trying to use uh, copper teams, copper offense, so they make fire threat defenses. So he can take out between him and Orion. Uh, you can use him and Orion, and you can take something out. You can either put Swift attack or damage attack or Fatal with speed for damage attack. Despair for TOA could be okay. Violent, I would not do Violent because then he'll Violent proc out of his third skill. Rage is good. And Vampire for farming. So he's actually kind of flexible for the rune builds based on where you want to use. I, he wouldn't be my first choice, Despair for TOA. I re you, but you could do it. But I would say for Guild Wars, if you want him to nuke for Guild Wars, Fatal or Rage would be would be the thing. But he's got such good base speed that he kind of gets that e extra benefit from Swift. Uh, Energy Blade. I would go for Blade. Focus, two of his skills debuff, but I don't know if he really needed that much. Guard, no. Endure, no. Shield, no. Will, 
You could put Will if you need him for Guild Wars. You could put Will on him. Um, that might not be the worst in the world revenge I like on him. Destroy, but I like him to be a little bit... If you built him a little bit hybrid, you could do destroy on him. Maybe. If you built him hybrid. But I think Blade and Revenge are the best ones. And then Fatal Swift. Um, Fatal Swift or Rage. I think I would probably go f Fatal or Rage. If I didn't already have him on Vampire, I'm like... There's... I, I have very few monsters on Vampire, so I'm like, I'll keep him on Vampire. He does just fine. I'll use him with Vampire Revenge. Um, but if I was only going to use him for Guild Wars, I think I would change him to, like, either Fatal or Rage and Blade or Revenge or Will, maybe. Destroy? He's not... I, I feel like he needs to be tankier for Destroy, though. I, f I may... Like, if I'm going to do Destroy, I may as well put Blade and make sure he crits all, all damn time, right? Instead of that. And then Revenge. If he's, like... A, if he's Vampire, Revenge is great. If he's built a little bit more hybrid, then Revenge could be better too. Not right. Who's next on the list? Damn you, Water Monkey. But uh, like I said, the reason people I, it's it's a it's a valid argument when you take into consideration the fact that Gildong is like at that same level. Gildong is very similar to him, and he's got and Gildong's got just a better second skill. So. Buff water monkey. No, you know, I mean they don't have to buff water monkey, but the, the web to monkey. But there was a it was you know it's if people make valid points, I want to include them. Now we have I'm not the wind monkey, farty farty monkey. I'm not because you, you know I'm gonna say his name wrong, and the people are gonna be like, oh, did you make say his name wrong? Triggered. All right. So let's see what he does. He's got the stun with the first skill again. Revenge. HP based monster 11 7 uh, base HP. Attacks and decreases the defense for two turns, 75% chance, recovers your attack bar by 50%. This guy, with the damn recovering the attack gauge. Oh my god. And then Stone Monkey passive. He's also got this leader skill, HP leader skill, right? So HP leader skill, HP uh, based monster. And Stone Monkey decreases inflicted damage by 25% and counterattacks with a 25% chance when an ally is attacked. You guys have seen him in TOA hard. Or in, in TOA and TOA hard. Damn counterattacks all damn time. Okay, so he's kind of... He's, he is an HP-based monster, right? I've seen some people do... Lower-level people, like newer newer players, do attack or damage attack. Um, just because... I don't I don't know why, but they, they like to do that. Uh, the thing with that is that he's like a little... He's not squishy. I mean, he's still with this, the stone monkey and his base HP. But it feels like... It feels like a shame to take that base HP and be like, Nah, we're going to do attack or damage attack. Even though he's an HP monster. So he says he's HP monster. He has the HP leader skill. He's got high base HP. You want to put HP on him. But I usually see one of two ways. Uh, HP crit damage HP or HP crit damage attack. Those are, where's the music? Oh, you know Jubeagle's been talking a lot when the music is dead. Where were we before I was so rudely interrupted by the internet and music not working? We are talking about this Wind Monkey. Uh, so normally I see him with HP crit damage HP or HP crit damage attack and overall value subs for value runes. I mean like we saw, we saw what I meant by value, right? We saw what I meant. Let's go back to this hoe bag. Crit damage with defense and HP. This would be a beautiful Wind Monkey rune. These sub stats would be perfect for Monkey Monkey, both the Wind and the Fire Monkey. Wouldn't be bad for the Water Monkey either. Crit damage on slot 4 with the speed and the attack. Wouldn't be bad for him. Wouldn't be bad for any of the monkeys. But just overall value, nice value runes. Nice value runes. Uh, so let's see where we can use this hoe bag. Everyone's always a hoe bag. Everyone's always a hoe bag. Uh, farming? He's, he's not, I mean, I'm sure he can do it, but, actually, I know he can do it, but really not a, he's a single target monster, he's a single target monster, though, and he really can't, he's not gonna be able to do Feynman. Maybe he is, I don't know, maybe he is, he's a crazy monster, but, um, the other ones, like the, the water one at least had an AoE, the fire one at least recovered his own HP, so I know the wind one can do farming, he's alright, but there's better monsters for farming. Uh, Giants, he at least has a... He's got... What does he do? He does his defense break and re recovers his... And he'll hit... I mean... 
He's not. He's. He could be a good first Giants. Uh, Giants monster. We could put him in there. We could put him in there. Uh, dragons. No. Necropolis. No. Elemental dungeons. Uh, he's gonna keep hitting. He's gonna he keep hitting, revenging whenever anyone else is attacked. So that's not bad. Uh, we'll go with Meh. Secret dungeons. He's a single target monster. Three team raids. Meh. I mean, he's he's got a defense break. He's got a defense, but it's a different build. Uh, but I think he could be he could be used in raids. I don't see too many of him used him in raids, but I think he could be used in raids. Elemental rift beasts. Again, a defense break, but he's a tanky monster. This is another one. If you want to use him in Elemental Rift Beasts, it's really all about big damage. It's really all about big damage. So, I mean, he's got a defense break, but you, what are you going to ruin him for attack or damage attack and only use him in Elemental Rift Beasts? He's meh, but uh, could be better, could be worse. Trial of Ascension, really not... I don't want to use him in Trial of Ascension. Arena, great for Arena, great for Arena defense. Uh, great for Guild Wars as well. And Live Arena, great for Guild Wars, Live Arena, and he's a PvP monster. He's a PvP monster. He's, he stuns, he gets extra skills, and he's gonna keep counterattacking with a stun. Uh, anytime one of your, one of your teammates gets wrecked, gets it. Uh, people like to call him the... Anti Theomar is the Theomar's counter. All right, so now we're looking at runes. Uh, early, I mean, you could put Fatal on him. You could put this is no despair. Actually, yes, you can put despair on him. So one of the reasons you could put despair on him is gives him an extra chance to stun with the first skill since he's gonna keep revenging anyway. You can put despair revenge. I know he doesn't have an AOE, but you can put despair revenge. That's an actual build for him. Um, it's it's the same thing with the like the light archangel. It's these monsters that are gonna keep getting free hits in when your teammates are attacked. So you want to build him tanky and despair revenge if that's uh, if, if you're going to go the despair route. Uh, violent, I see him violent the most. Violent the most with HP, crit damage, HP, or HP, crit damage, attack, or attack, crit damage, HP. It doesn't matter. Uh, rage, not really. Fatal, not really. He's an HP based monster. And then vampire, not really. Like I said, he's an HP based monster. Uh, so he's there to keep going crazy, to keep counterattacking whenever your teammates get attacked. Uh, then like, energy blade. Blade's not bad. Blade's not bad. Focus is not bad. Again, guard is not bad. Endure. I mean, if you're gonna try to- if you're gonna- if- if you feel like he's gonna get focused first in the team, Endure wouldn't be bad either. Value- overall value runes. Shield is not bad for him either, because he's got good base HP. Um, revenge is gorgeous for him. Destroy is good on him too. So these would be my these would be my first choices right here. Revenge and destroy. Uh, but blade is also good. Focus is also good. Guard is not bad if you have a really if you have a really solid guard rune with amazing stats. Are we still with the music? Oh my god, this music is gonna give me herpes. Seriously. And shield is not bad to have him on shield either. All right. The music is officially giving me. Damn herpes! I didn't even get laid to get the herpes either, that sucks. Alright, oh, why do we keep shutting that nonsense down? Alright. Which with this music is seriously giving me diabetes? Alright, let's talk about the light and dark ones now. Uh, we have holy vaginas. <laughs> holy vaginas! Alright, guys, holy vaginas. Um. Support monster. He's got kind of well-rounded base HP, attack, and defense. Uh, 714 is not not bad. We look at some of the seven. Okay, I think what are these at 790? And he's a defense. He's he, he's uh, scales based on defense. And then we see I could adjust 747. Okay. And then we see. Oh my god. Gotta go back to that monkey. Gotta go back to that. That's not the monkey. That's not the monkey. 747. So we see. Decent base defense for uh, 700 is, is kind of nice. All right, uh, so we got the first skill, uh, same first skill as all the other ones. Uh, all or nothing attacks. All enemies decrease their attack bar by 30%. See, he's not an attacker, so he's like you see, he's got the same second skill as um, Shihao, but he's 
different. He's got double AoEs. He's got this third AoE too. Attacks all enemies. Giant net puts him to sleep for one turn. Decreases attack speed for two turns with an 80% chance each. Damage of this skill will increase according to your max HP. So, we see he's got CC. So we want to put him on some kind of speedy build, right? So speed on two. And then damage based on max HP. So we can make him a tank. And that's good for him. So we could make him like a CC, a nice CC, uh... A CC tank. So I think there's a couple different ways to do this. You could make him uh, really, really fast and on violent, um, or you could put him on despair, and then he's got double AOEs, which is pretty nice. And then he's also gets that extra chance. If we don't stun with the actual skill, we could stun with the despair on the first skill too. So it's a little bit more reliable stun. Uh, so you like a despair revenge kind of thing, or like a despair focus kind of thing. So let's see where we can use this. Uh, this bad boy. Oh, and he's got also, he's got this leader skill, uh, increases resistance of ally monsters by 41%. This is something that people have been loving to use in World Arena, resistance leader skills. Now, now, now you want resistance. Now you, well, when it's, when the, the, the chances, when the proc chances and everything are, uh, more fair in World Arena, then there you go. Are you seriously gonna not with the music, you a-holes? All right. Lovely. So quiet, don't worry guys, I'll talk extra. Farming, double AoEs, good for farming. Also global leader skill, also light monster. Can we just call him great for farming? I wanna call him great for farming. I wanna call him somewhere around there. I mean, he, he's not gonna like AoE nuke every turn, like he's not gonna do like 10 second stages, but he's a, he's a pretty good friend. Double AoEs, man, double AoEs, really nice. Uh, Giants, he's got, he's got the, uh, he's got the slow too, so it's an AoE attack gauge decrease and AoE slow as well. So he could be good for, he could be good for Giants. AoEs help, uh, make things go faster. This stupid music, I'm gonna kick this music in the vagina. Um, what else do we have? Dragons, he's got the slow, he's got the attack gauge decrease. He's actually somewhere between here for dragons. You could do dragons v10, you could actually put him in a team. Uh, I know it seems silly, but you could... The attack age, attack slow is, is really nice. I mean, uh, slow is really nice. Necropolis, no. Uh, elemental dungeons. That's slow, man. I love that slow. I love that slow. Secret dungeons. Double AoE. Love it. Uh, three team raids. He's got... A little bit of attack age decrease. He doesn't need. I mean, two AOEs really don't help you that much in in raids. He's got a stun which doesn't do anything, and he's got a slow, so really not resistant. We'll put him. We'll say. We'll say meh. We'll say meh because he does have a resistance lead, and that's really nice for raids. Uh, elemental rift beasts for fire. He's not bad. For fire, he's not bad. Uh, Trial of Ascension, yes, he's a good Trial of Ascension monster. For Arena, let me think about Arena. I think for live, let's just say he's great for live Arena. Uh, for Guild Wars, I've seen him used good in Guild Wars. Arena, Resistance Leader, we're gonna say good for that, for, uh, yeah. A little bit more versatile. I, I like that, uh, I like that light. A little bit more versatile. Oh my god, this music is gonna give me. Sodomy pancakes. Uh, let's see what kind of runes we can put on this beast. Please, music! I swear to God, I'll be nice. Oh my God, Chewbacca cannot exist without music. Do 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 Yeah, music, music is amazing. Uh, not fatal. Swift. He could he could be swift early game. Despair is great on him. Despair. Violent is great on him. We don't need that. Uh, Despair and Violent are the ones that you want to do on him. Energy, meh. Blade, we don't need him to be super damage dealer. Uh, necessarily. Because he's a, he's a CC monster, basically. Focus is good for him. Uh, endure, he does not need Endure. Will is less useful on him. Because he's got his leader skill, right? If you really need to resist things, you could use his leader skill. Uh, shield, he's got 10-7 base HP. Uh, revenge is great on him as well, so I would say focus, revenge. Um, you could do a destroy on him too. You, you could do a destroy. Get a little bit uh, longer, 
Eidolon or whatchamacallit. I feel like you could even do a Nemesis build for him. I feel like you could make him a Nemesis Trap Monster and no one would be suspecting it, so I think that that's actually not the worst idea in the world. You can make him a Nemesis Trap. Who is gonna expect a Nemesis Trap, right? You make him the- you, like, in Arena Defense, you make him the leader. Um, what did I rate him in Arena Defense? Maybe I should bump that up now. You make him the leader, so he's resistance, right? So people are like, I'm not gonna Zyros him, I will Lucian him, I'll double Lucian him. You make him speed HP HP, he's got good base speed, which is gonna help him out there. Right? First Lucian goes, Nemesis triggers, no one's expecting it, no one knows, because people know Nemesis Praha and Nemesis Ariel. No one's expecting Nemesis Shish. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys the, uh... Did I even show you guys the other one? Where to use? Did I not even show you guys that? I'm such an a-hole, I'm so sorry. This video is ruined. This video is ruined. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll power through it, because otherwise I don't know when this music is going to come back, so otherwise I'd re-record it. I probably should re-record it anyway, but screw you guys, I'm going home. But these are, uh, these are roots for <laughs> It's already two videos, how many more times do I want to record it? Uh, so that's, that's that for that. I definitely think he could be a nemesis trap that people wouldn't expect. That would be actually pretty cool. I think you might steal some wins there. Steal some wins. And we have this bad boy, So I, this music not being here, is going to make my child drop out of college. I don't even have a kid. Oh, God. All right, Sun Zheng Lao. So let's take a look at Sun Zheng Lao. He's got the first skill, same first skill. Uh, attacks decreases defense, so, um, and then we have attack power increases as your HP decreases. Ooh la la. And then we have the Summon Clouds, attacks all enemies with a giant storm cloud to decrease their defense for two turns. Stuns them for one turn with a 50% chance. The damage increases according to your max HP, but he's an attack type monster, but it scales based on your max HP. Go figure. I think this guy needs to be a, um, a hybrid build too. I think I would do speed, crit damage, HP on him. I, I was thinking about it too. I think I would do either speed, crit damage, attack with HP subs, or speed, crit damage, HP with attack subs, and crit rate, and crit damage, and whatever. Just value subs overall. I think these guys uh, get a lot of benefit out of value subs. Oh my god! This... This music is not being on, it's giving me diabetes. So, uh, that's what I think for him. I think he definitely needs to go. Uh, also, if you're using him in arena, make sure he goes after your cleanser, right? Make sure he goes right after. Because he, he is a defense breaker. You could do, I love this, man. I love this. You could make him as like a secret cleave monster. I love, because people are like, oh, Galleon is the cleave monster. There you go. You could make other, you could make, as long as he's got an AoE defense break, you can make a cleave monster. So you could, you could have like a secret cleave team in World Arena. People wouldn't be, they wouldn't see it coming. I like that. I like that. I like the things people don't see coming. Then you have the accuracy leader skill, 41%. Uh, it's not bad either. It's a global leader skill. Global leader skill. But I think, again, he needs to be, he needs speed on two. Uh, same thing with the light one. Same thing with, I think, um, I know my water monkey doesn't have speed on two. He's got speed subs, but he's a farmer. Uh, I think, you know, he, he's another one that needs speed on two. The wind and the fire, I don't think need speed on two. They need sp speed subs is nice. Get some speed subs wherever you can. But overall, value subs are number one most important for the wind and the fire. Um, and then this one, this one I think needs speed on two. The, the light one needs speed on two as well. Amazing. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that this music is working so well today. Oh my god, this is... This, uh, this music is making my... This music not being here is giving my chipmunk a colonoscopy. I don't, I don't even know what that means! I don't... You don't appreciate the music until it's gone. So we have... Uh, let's see... Farming, we have, uh, he's a good farmer, he can have, um, he's got the AoE, he's got all, he's got very reliable defense break. Second skill defense break, third skill defense break, and stun. He's got very reliable defense break. Uh, which make him actually, he's good for the Rift Beast, the Fire Rift Beast too, I think. But again, then you would do attack or damage attack kind of build for, uh, if you're gonna use him there. But, re very reliable defense break. AoE and reliable. Uh, giants, 
He'd be good for Giants. He's got the AoE and he's got reliable defense break, which is nice. Uh, dragons. I mean, the same, the same thing. Um, I don't know if he's my favorite dragons monster, but uh, bad for Necropolis. As they, all these monkeys are bad for Necropolis. Elemental dungeons. Uh, he could be somewhere between okay for Elemental dungeons. Secret dungeons. He could be good. He's got the AOE. Uh, and again, reliable defense break. Three team raids. He's not gonna stun anyone. He's got he's got defense breaks on skill two and three. He's got stuns on skill one and three. He's not gonna stun anyone. All he's got is defense break. All he's got is defense break. I mean, he's meh. He's meh for raids. Elemental rift beasts, like we said. He's got a reliable defense break, so there's that for fire. Uh, but really, not my pick for the rest of them. Uh, Trial of Ascension. He's got a stun. He's got a stun on the first skill. He's got a stun on the third skill. Uh, so that's not bad. I would do him violent for Trial of Ascension, actually, with like speed. Maybe, I don't know, speed, maybe speed crit, like speed crit damage attack, maybe, I don't know, for Trial of Ascension. On violent. Uh, cause I would want to be very, very fast. Uh, you want him to be fast anyway, cause he's got CC. Any CC monsters you want to be fast. Crowd control. CC is crowd control. Uh, so he could be good for Trial of Ascension. Uh, Arena. Yes, he can be good for Arena. Uh, not my, I, would, I don't know if I would say great for Arena. He could be great for Arena. I've seen, I've seen him actually done very well for Arena. I've seen like the stuns and then eh, you could, if you're running a speed defense, he could be good. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll say he's, we'll say he's great. Uh, Guild Wars. You he could run him as a hybrid man. I think he'd be. Yeah. It's hard. I really don't see him that much. I wish I could see him more so that I can evaluate him more. I know the light one is used in Live Arena more than the dark one, but I think still... I think he's somewhere between... He's somewhere between good and great on all of these. He's somewhere between good and great, depending on how you use him. I think you gotta, like, tweak the builds, too. Um, but I think he's got a lot of potential in PvP. He's got two skills that stun. PvP, right? Because you can't PV, you can't, you can't, like, AoE stun, like, things in, uh, like, the giant and the crystals, right? Alright, so let's talk about- Oh my god, I'm so glad this music works. This music is warping all of my electric guitars. That's what it's doing. Alright. Runes. Uh, he's an attacker, so Fatal can work on him early game, Swift can work on him early game. Uh, Despair, he already has, he already has stuns. That's gonna give him more reliable stuns, so you could do Despair on him. You could do Violent on him, you could do, I mean, you could do anything on him, basically. Vampire, if he's gonna, he's kinda flexible, you could do, you could do anything. But I would build him as, again, as a hybrid, but more fast hybrid. I love how, I love how I'm giving guys definite answers on which runes are the best. Which runes are the best, you could use them all. You could use them all, but I think speed crit damage, HP, or speed crit damage attack. Um, with just overall value subs on there. And of course you want crit rate, you want speed in the subs, uh, HP, defense, and attack, and stuff like that. Like if you're going, if you're going speed, crit damage, HP, you want attack subs in, uh, on the runes. Uh, and then energy, blade, we'll do blade is nice, focus is nice, he's got all skills, debuffs, uh, the two sets are more, uh, what else? Revenge, he could be revenge, but he's not, I, the fire and the wind ones are better on revenge. But I think Blade and Focus is what I would more go for than anything else for those. So he's kind of flexible as far as early game for those. Again, like I said, Despair is going to give you that reliable stun chance with the first skill and with the... Well, I mean, we could, we could do revenge, we could do revenge, but the other ones are tankier. They're going to be better for re revenge. This guy, if you build him tanky, he's going to be... Like, if you build him with HP on slot... Um, like, as a hybrid with, with HP on slot 6 or something then he's going to be better with revenge. But uh, if you build him more just like YOLO nuke, speed, crit, damage, attack, then he's going to, then don't bother putting revenge with like blade or focus. Because he gets a lot of that focus. He gets a lot out of that focus, uh, that focus set. Everything needs debuffs. Everything debuffs. So, um, I guess that's it. How would I, how would I ruin him? How would I ruin him? Depends on where I was gonna use. See, yeah, I say that. I say that again. If I was gonna use him in TOA, either violent or despair. If I was gonna use him for like arena offense, I would go swift or fatal or rage. Speed crit damage attack. 
That's what I would do. That's what I would do, because he stuns and he defense breaks on the same one. So you're 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 nullifying that turn from the enemy, and you're also you get that defense break too. So And I think you could definitely use you could do like a cleave team. So what I say when I'm when I say cleave team, like you know you have like okay, get like Tiana, Galleon, Zaros, whatever. Like Galleon plus two nukers is basically that 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 shield will cleave team that I love to use. Uh, you can use him as the defense breaker, and you can use like um, a Camomir, you can use Sigmaris, you can use. Especially like if you use him, Rika, and a Camomir. If you happen to have both him and Rika, I don't know that many people that are gonna have both him and Rika, but you could use that, and then a Camomir is gonna do. Even if there's no attack buff, right, he's still gonna do big damage because. Defense break, stun, dots, slow, and then uh, he's gonna do big damage on top of that. He'll still do like 40,000. A Cambria, I mean, will still do like 40,000 damage on top of the damage that the rest of them did. So, I mean, it's gonna kill everything. So, I think he's a, he could be a fun, like, secret cleave team that they're expecting Galleon to cleave team. They're not expecting. The Dark Monkey and uh, and other things. I like I like those because as long as you have the de the defense break is the most important part. Defense break is the most important part. Unless you're trying to cleave with let's say, um, like Samurais. Samurais need the attack buff um, and the defense break both. But things like a Camomir and things like Sigmaris you can do with just a uh, defense break. So fun cleave monster. Instead of Galleon. Just in case you have a Dark Monkey and not a Galleon. Because this game is weird sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, guys. This music not working is, um... I don't even know. It's freaking me out. I can't do things without music, damn it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I probably put music in, in the background anyway. Because, I don't know. Because I probably did that anyway. So, whatever. I'll see you guys, as always, in the next video.